Hey guys, what is up? And in today's video, we're going to be learning how to make a Pokemon game in Scratch. So, like, I know I have made a lot of you guys upset by not uploading for a really long time, like three months, and then not, and then discontinuing a bunch of series. So, uh, I made a poll uh, asking which series you guys wanted to see back, right? And Pokemon was like the winner. So, uh, here we are, starting back from episode one, making an insanely amazing Pokemon game. So, yeah, um, I really do apologize, but other than that, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first of all, I've deleted Scratch Cat, and I'm gonna title the project Scratchomon, because, like, I, I don't want copyright. Scratchomon game. And uh, let's go ahead and start by painting our player. So, we're gonna call this player, and I'm just gonna make it a cube, because I, I really don't know how to draw. Um, I'll make it like a gray sort of cube. Boom. Uh, I'll give it some eyes. Bam. Uh, some eyes. And okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be our player. I know it's it's really lazy, but um, you guys can of course change it up how you like. Um and yeah, so inside of the code tab, we're gonna drag out a when green flag clicked, and then a forever if. And then drag out an or and then put in a key D or right arrow key pressed uh, so you can also use WASD because it really annoys me when I'm not using WASD um, and then we're going to do change X by 5 so now you can move to the right and I think that's a bit too slow so I'll do seven and I think that's a reasonable speed now we're just gonna duplicate this just change this to a and change this to left and then change this to negative seven and now boom we can move left and right now we're gonna duplicate this oh not add a comment we're gonna duplicate this again change this to W for up and then up arrow key Right, and then we're gonna change Y by seven, and then duplicate that. Scroll all the way down, find S, and then down arrow key, and negative seven. Boom, we have ourselves some really, really simple movement. Um, and I'm gonna scale it down the player, so I'm gonna set, I think the player is a bit too big. So I'll set size to 70. Boom. Okay. And now, okay, let's say we have we want to change the speed, right? But we're gonna have to change every single one of these values manually. So instead of that, let's just go ahead and delete the my variable and create a variable called player speed. Boom. And then we're gonna set player speed to seven for now, because that's what I have it set as. And now, uh, for all the positive seven. So for this, we're gonna put just player speed. And then for the up arrow, we're also gonna put player speed. But now, for left and down, we're gonna go ahead and add a multiplication symbol. And then do player speed. And then times negative one. And as you can see, it'll still work the same way. But we can just we just have to change this one value and then our so we can change our speed just instead of having to change every single value so yeah now let's go ahead and make like the rpg slash like scrolling system so in the backdrops right okay so let's go ahead and call this zero one well no let's go ahead and call this zero zero and then just make it a completely green screen or well, whatever color what like grass see i'm going for like a grassy look so i'm just gonna do completely green like that and inside of the player oh we're gonna create two variables we're gonna call it scroll we're gonna call it scroll x 
and then scroll Y. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set scroll X and scroll Y to zero. All right, simple enough. And now uh, let's go ahead and drag out a when green flag clicked forever if x if and then drag out a less than sign and then drag out x position wait if x position is less than and then let's go ahead and move our player all the way to the left and let's do less than negative 240 then we're going to go to y position but x to 40 so now okay so this isn't working right now because we can't go below 240 negative 240 so what we're gonna have to do is change this to like negative 230 and then it'll actually work so if we go all the way to the left we just come back on the right side and we're going to want to change scroll x by negative one so boom okay now let's duplicate this and then change this to a greater than boom 230 change this to negative 240 and then change this to one and just so our player doesn't get stuck let's go ahead and add a go to zero zero boom okay so here's also a little problem there's a ton of bugs here but our player just gets stuck on the side of the screen uh what we want to do to fix that is just change this to 230 instead of 240 because 240 is like the edge of the screen and the player just gets stuck and it's all messy but as you can see we can move between left and right and our scroll x goes up or down now we duplicate this and go ahead and change this to y position go ahead and get rid of these y positions in the go to blocks put x position instead change scroll x to scroll y and now we have to experiment around with the lucky number right so right now it's 180 we can the top of the screen is y180 so let's go ahead and change this to negative 170 and then 170 and then change this to 170 and then negative 170 so when we go up scroll y goes up when we go down scroll y goes down and now you may be wondering what is the point of this so this is a very very clever system right we can go to the backdrops now and do when green flag clicked forever and then we'll switch backdrop to then let's go ahead and add a plus and do scroll x plus scroll y so now uh this is called zero zero and scroll x and scroll y are both zero so that means it will switch to this costume right here now if we were to duplicate this and call it zero one but let's go ahead and put like i don't know some kind of like weird like line or something just to make sure just so we can know that it's a different costume okay so i have made a very big mistake so instead of a plus right instead of a plus we have to actually do a join so i really stuffed up there my bad guys but now it should actually work you can see there's no weird green line on the back we go up to the top turns into zero one and then we get the weird line right so basically what it is the name of the backdrop corresponds to where we actually are all right, so let's go ahead and draw some. Let's go ahead and draw some backdrops. So this is like home, right? So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put like a little pond or something here. Boom. Just like a little pond. 
Um, for this one, I'm going to add a path of sorts. Okay, so I've made like a little grass populated area here. This only took like 30 minutes or something. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna just duplicate this, change this to like zero two. Oh, well, okay, not zero two, actually, like one, one. Um, and basically what this is, it'll go up and then I go to the left, oh wait, to the right, actually. And I'll like rotate this around. So it's like, cause we're going to pop up. Like if we go up, we're going to pop up down here. Um, and I'm just going to make more grassy areas. And you guys can see that it is a little bit messy on the sides, but that is completely fine because we're not going to be seeing that. So, boom, we have that. We have this. So, there's actually going to be like 10 costumes in total. So, we have 1-1. One, one. I'm going to add 0, negative 1. So, 0-1. So, 0, negative. Oh, it's actually going to be negative 1, 0, my bad. Boom. And then, all the way at the bottom... I'll add like, I'll add like a pond here and this will look much more lively when we add like maybe trainers and stuff, um, that we can battle and maybe like shops just scattered around. Uh, and I'll call this one zero. So if I go to the right, boom, now going down zero negative one, we don't have anything. So I'll call this zero negative one and we, we might just put like a like a house here uh just separately in the code though so i'm gonna leave this blank for now and we need negative one negative one and i'm gonna delete all the grass and and i'm gonna like maybe uh inside a code again when we code i might add like a stadium or something here so i'm just gonna leave it blank for now so what have what do we have so far we have here we can go here we could go here we could go here we don't have negative one negative one which could just be i'll make this an area where pokemon have increased spawn rates so boom boom we got this part where we can add like some kind of like shop or something one negative one we don't have anything i'll make this another area with increased spawn rates for pokemon but i'll add like a stream or something here then maybe we could catch like water type pokemon or something and honestly i think that is every single one don't wait no wait yeah that is every single one completed and so we should have nine costumes in total because we made like a grid and yeah so these are all the costumes you should have you should have zero 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 one 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 zero negative one zero zero negative one zero negative two oh wait we should not have zero negative two this is supposed to be negative one one so yeah you should have negative one negative one and you should have one negative one so i know that's a bit confusing but that is how you make like a simple rpg sort of system right and now we actually gotta make it so that the player can't go past um our boundaries so like it can't scroll x can't go to two and scroll y can't go to two so let's go ahead and inside of here let's go ahead and add an if is at a greater than at scroll X is greater than one. And then we also need an or, or less than negative one. So scroll, scroll X is greater than one or less than negative one. Then we will go ahead and change scroll X by negative one. So we go up, oh wait, no. Or we did scroll X. Also, we should duplicate this for both of them. And. But, oh, wait. So, we actually need to change this. We actually need to put them in two separate statements. 
So we can go ahead and add another if, and then go like that, and then change it by one. Change it by one. Now we can duplicate that, boom. And now we should never be able to go out of our set boundaries. So yeah, now we do the same thing for Y. So we could just do scroll Y and boom. Okay, nice. So bam, boop. All right, we can go inside of this world that we have created. And guys, that is pretty much gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. But until then, I will see you guys until the next video. I will see you guys next. Okay, I, I messed up my intro. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is see you in the next video. But until then, peace out.